in addition to technical requirements of essay i want to just let you know that there are certain appeals which are to be given in essay writing you have to give emotional appeal you have to give intellectual appeal you have to give imaginative appeal you have to give rational appeal try to convince try to convince the examiner try to convince the investigator that you know the topic you have you have uh, fully understood this is an art of composition essay is a technical subject essay is a very important paper in any competitive exam like css pcs and ics in order to pass essay you have to work a lot and uh, one of the basic thing to start your work for preparation is to get background information of and of not only essay but other forms of composition hello viewers welcome to virtual civil service academy by zaid langa and uh, as i told you in my previous video regarding introductory talk on essay writing i have told that i will discuss on introductory paragraph of essay in my next video so today i will be discussing on introductory paragraph of essay writing for css and uh, for pcs and even for ics and other type of academic essays essay is a very technical subject and in order to qualify essay paper or to obtain higher grades it is necessary that you must be familiar and conversant with all the technical requirements of essay if you are not familiar if you don't know these technical requirements it is likely that you may a face trouble you may have difficulty in passing this tricky paper so i start my talk i will request you to please go to youtube search for virtual civil service academy by zaid elanga and subscribe to my channel so that in future you and all other friends who want to learn on essay who want to go for cs who want to go for ics who want to go who want to go for pcs may get information knowledge and benefit from my experience of such competitive exams thank you so friends essay is an art of composition essay is a technical subject essay is a very important paper in any competitive exam like css pcs and ics in order to pass essay you have to work a lot and uh, one of the basic thing to start your work for preparation is to get background information of and of not only essay but other forms of composition after having a written general statement you are then going to give your thesis statement this is very important please pay your attention thesis statement is basically your opinion your stance your view point on certain topic in composition you have to write letters you have to write uh, summaries you have to write essays you have to write presses you have to write many other things composition normally when we speak we speak through words and uh, through sentences and we use our body gestures to communicate our message like uh, give stress on certain sentences in order to communicate our message in a meaningful way in writing you have to follow certain rules of composition like punctuation good vocabulary power of persuasion power of argument power of narration power of description every power you have to use to convince your reader that you know how to write on certain topic so you have to keep this in mind and other thing that is very important is that you must know that no word is found without any syllable or without any vowel word no word you cannot find even a single word without a vowel similarly you cannot make a sentences without a verb you can make sentence without a noun or naming word but you cannot make a sentence without a verb verb basically stands for action or some state also sometimes some essay also so you must have information of all these things before developing your skill for essay writing so friends when you are asked to write a paragraph you have to write that paragraph in sentences you have to make multiple sentences simple sentence complex sentence compound sentence you have to give variety of sentence to make a paragraph a combination of sentences is a paragraph but paragraph has its own rules like it must have a topic sentence unity coherence might have organization it must have logical start and log logical conclusion 
when we talk of all these things we must know that by unity means in a paragraph if you are writing on poverty is a big problem you must give a topic sentence and your whole sentence must go from general to particular give a general statement then go to particular statement and try to substantiate it with evidence support examples information background knowledge and this is only possible once you have commanded the art of composition you have got to background information of essay you have you have learned about paragraphs you have learned about sentences each and everything comes there in essay writing so you cannot write until and unless you know all these things so my humble sub- submission to all of you would be to please go through the text go through some uh, good books consult your teachers listen videos ask them to help you out for s writing now question arises what is the difference between a simple paragraph and introductory paragraph of an essay so a common paragraph and introductory paragraph of an essay are very much similar in form but different in content in introductory paragraph of an essay you are going to write many things which you are not supposed to write in a simple paragraph introductory paragraph generally starts with general statement meant are something that you try to explain the topic it may be one sentence it may be five sentence it may be six sentence depending on the nature of the topic after having a written general statement you are then going to give your thesis statement this is very important please pay your attention thesis statement is basically your opinion your stance your viewpoint on certain topic suppose you say that poverty is a curse you start writing with a general statement you say that there are many problems in the world the economic problems there are political problems there are so many other problems but poverty is one of them poverty is a very critical problem being faced by humans you have not to write what is poverty you have to write how poverty is curse if you are poor uh, under poverty you want to have sufficient food you want be able to go to a school you want to be able to wear good clothes you want be able to make good friends you want be able to take part in uh, activities which you like most because of lack of financial resources so this you have to give you a viewpoint uh, in a thesis statement with uh, explanation of your topic and the reasons behind that one in other that is your thesis statement this is basically the foundation of essay this is foundation of rest of the paragraphs and you will place those points in a very orderly manner say for uh, you have to go from less important to most important you are most important to less important and and subsequently you have to develop your paragraph based on your thesis statement your thesis statement is everything it is your opinion it is your perspective on certain topic if your perspective or your if your argument is logical rational you are going to pass the essay provided you develop it according to the thesis statement so this is very critical friends viewers aspirants please keep in mind that thesis statement make research on thesis statement try to make your own thesis statement make general statement make thesis statement and then start writing your essay so that you may achieve success in your competitive exams so your introductory part of essay is important and entire essay depends on your introductory paragraph of essay so make it a uh, compact complete concise relevant and follow all the techniques of essay writing it should have unity it should have coherence it should have order it should have organization it should have everything there should be variety of sentences every every sort of sentence should be there don't try to repeat same form same form and uh, style of uh, sentences you are supposed to write a good english by good english i mean it should have 
standard vocabulary not, not necessarily difficult words jam packed with bombastic redundant words no never never use bombastic be simple by simple means don't try to dazzle the reader don't try to dazzle the examiner just try to write in a plain simple communicative and meaning meaningful english try to communicate your message that you know the topic and you have tried to write essay you have tried to define the essay in a manner in a style which is uh, as per requirements of essay writing if you don't do that you may have problem in qualifying your essay you may have problem in qualifying your overall exam so these things are very much critical these things have to be taken care of if you don't take care of these things you may not be able to pass the exam gentlemen uh, if you recall in my talk on selecting topic for essay writing i had told that you have to select secure and safe topics don't go for the controversial topics go don't go for the aesthetic topics don't go for the literary topics and also quotations try to go for essay that are socio economic issues try to go for essay essays that you think are safe your judgment also plays a very critical role in essay writing in addition to these tracks my friends i want to just let you know that you have to give certain appeals in your essay writing there should be emotional appeal try to communicate try to transfer your feelings to your reader there should be intellectual up, appeal you try to convince him that you belong to the category you have got certain power you have got the ability to write well on a certain topic and uh, imaginative appeal try to describe the things use your brain use your mind's eyes to give perfect description of certain issue in order to convince you a examiner once so you have a written introductory paragraph i discussed then you have to develop it based on simple paragraphs then you have to follow the rules of paragraph there should be connection your connectors should be good and appealing they should be natural don't try to connect your paragraphs in an artificial way there should be a kind of flow they should be naturally connected try to learn this art if you learn this art there is a logical connection between your one paragraph and another make the examiner feel that all the paragraphs flow, flow from one another they are not disconnected they are not illogical this is an art you have to get mastery over this art if you don't get mastery over this art you may pass but you may get less marks so try to understand each and everything this is going to help you and also keep in mind all the rules of paragraph writing don't likewise don't violate the rules of organization writing structure composition of essay don't compromise don't do anything that is not good i hope this talk of mine is going to help you in writing of essay if it is not clear if you are not able to get what i have been trying to explain here you can contact me i have given my whatsapp number here and uh, i will also give you email address if you think that something is not clear if you think that, that there is an ambiguity you can approach me and we can discuss i will keep on um, uh, putting small videos on this channel for your help for your support for your guidance so for your knowledge so that you are able to get mastery over essay writing so friends i believe that you would have got a clear idea of what an introductory paragraph and essay is and how it is developed and i believe that this is going to help you in preparation of your examinations and if you like my video if you really think that it is helpful please share with your friends so that they are able to get benefit from my talks thank you very much take care see you in the next video